Hey everybody, thanks for joining us this evening. This is our second video together. Um, the first one was the Sugar Rush Stripey. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. And this is the Ahi, the, well, the infamous Ahi Cherapita. Now, I'm going to embarrass myself a little bit here and say that I didn't do my homework on this. This is a very well-known pepper that I've never tried and never grown. And a lot of you out there watching this probably know a lot more about this than I do. I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like or the Scoville unit rating of this thing. So oh, you didn't mention that. I didn't know any of this. I don't know none of this. So, I'm a sucker. So we're going to, we're going to, well, you wanted to do another video. But we're going to go into this completely blind. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Other than knowing what it is, that's pretty much all I know. Actually, I'm a little embarrassed to say that because this is a very well-known pepper. And they say this is like, if you dry these and powder them per pound, they're the most expensive pepper in the world. Which, I don't know why that is or where that came from. Some say that's not true. A lot of people think it is. Is it because they're so tiny? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not planning on drying any out and powdering them, so maybe the powder tastes really good. I don't know. But uh, let's give you an example of uh, how big this is and the look of this thing. Alright, so I have a dime. And then I have the pepper. Let me see if I can block us out here. There we go. There we go. Get a little closer if you can. Get down a little bit. I think, I hope you can see that. That is the size, that is a dime. I'm just a regular old dime. And that is how big that pepper is. They're tiny. It's, they're tiny. They're adorable. You can go ahead and eat that one there. Let's, uh, they look like little fairies. <laughs> I would cut one. Let me try and cut this open. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do this or not. They're very tiny, though. I'd like all the seeds out of mine. Yeah. There's probably like one or two in there. <laughs> so I could be, like, doing something crazy hot, and I don't know. It. Yeah. Okay. You could be. <laughs> <laughs> so, yay. I, I know it's not a super hot. To be a super hot, I believe you have to qualify, well, to qualify as a super hot, I think a pepper has to be... Pungent. It's very pungent. <laughs> I believe a pepper has to be 500,000 Scoville or greater. I do not believe this is 500,000 Scoville or greater, but... You may see me cry. Smell that. That smells evil. It smells like it's going to be a little hotter. That smells hot. It does smell hot. Um, I don't pick up any sweetness in the smell. No, it just smells like fire. It does, it does smell hot. Okay, well, let's just do this. I mean, I'll, I'll, I don't wanna, I'm going to chicken out if I'll, we don't okay, just I'll do count it. down. <laughs> I don't even want to count down. Can yeah. I smell? Chew, 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 chew. <laughs> it's, it's, <coughs> very floral. Floral and bitter. Oh, it is a lot of good taste. Yeah, it's not, not good. <gasps> there might be, there's citrus in there. But not, not a lot. <coughs> That is nasty. Yeah. These faces are mainly from the taste, I think, because it's not very, it's not, the heat's not all that, no, that big great. Is, is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. The heat, to me, isn't all that great. To her, it is, apparently. Uh, my reaction is mainly from the flavor, because it tastes terrible. It's like a ring of fire. Is that bad? All I get is the floral bitterness. That's it. Give me the water. And there's there's citrus in there Stop too. Talking. Give me the water. water. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I keep telling her water's not the best choice for this. Ew, oh oh, lots of saliva. The the oils are gonna get spread around by the water. In the long run, it's not your best bet. It's oh. <laughs> I am crying. <laughs> Can you see these tears? <laughs> I would say it's it's jalapeno hot. Maybe maybe higher end jalapeno hot. Would you would you say that? Like the hottest jalapeno you've had in the garden. Would you say it's about that hot or hotter? Nothing. Got nothing. She's she's speechless. <laughs> I like it this way actually. <laughs> oh, more spit, more saliva. Apparently it's a big saliva butter. I'm getting a little saliva myself. Um, my tolerance is going to be higher this time of year because I eat more peppers doing these videos and stuff. She doesn't do that. She barely eats hot stuff like at, re at restaurants and stuff. <laughs> you throwing up? You don't make it? No? Whew. 
bad, huh? Oh. Can you describe the flavor? Nope. No? Just the heat, huh? Hottest thing you've had, or does that include sauces and stuff? Scale of one to ten. A ten. <laughs> I'm going to say it's probably one and a half, maybe a two for me. <laughs> you hear my son in the background talking. I've told him not to make a lot of noise, but he can't help himself at this point because mom's suffering, which is kind of funny. Oh, wow, that's a lot of saliva. <laughs> Dang. You're gonna, you're gonna make it, dear? That's that's a lot. That's, um, I'm gonna back up a little bit. She's pretty overwhelmed with the heat. <laughs> Need some more, uh, you, want, you sure don't want milk, dear? Right. You'll try milk? I'm gonna get the milk, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with milk. This is her first time trying milk to quench the, uh, the heat of a pepper. We'll see how she reacts. My here. hatred for milk is at like a 50. Yeah, she does not like milk. You don't just swallow it right away. Kind of keep it in your mouth a little bit. Can't. I think I just ruined her rest of the day here, I think. <laughs> that is the ahi char pita. Again, I would put it on a scale of one to ten. One being like, you okay? I am not okay. <laughs> Come back, I'm in the frame here. One being like Frank's Red Hot or, um, you know, Cholula, something like that. And ten being like straight mace extract right in the mouth, like I'm dying. Take me to the hospital. I'm gonna give it probably a one and a half, maybe a two. And I'm gonna give that a 12. Yeah, let's scale on the 10, she gives it a 12. <laughs> so for your average person that doesn't eat a lot of hot stuff, don't just eat one of these, you see, you see. But uh, for you pepperheads out there, this is, I don't wanna call it a walk in the park, but I wouldn't say it's even snackable because of the flavor. The flavor is just not good. Now, having said that, that could have been just a handful of peppers off of this plant. Um, I've had plants or uh, peppers off plants that some peppers are sweeter or hotter than others. Um, this may be the case where you got some extra hot ones. I don't know. The bush is gigantic. It's got lots. I mean, there's ton, there are a ton of peppers on it, aren't there? <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> we'll end it right there and we'll get my wife in the house and we'll uh, let her recover a little bit so we can actually do something the rest of the day. That was hateful. <laughs> I can so. feel it going into my belly. You can feel like burning. See, I don't get a whiskey chest type feel or a, uh, you know, the heartburn <sighs> feeling, nothing like that. It was mainly tongue burn, the back of the tongue a little bit, but that's about it. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us today. If you like these videos and you want her to join me in some other videos like subscribe give us the thumbs up share with your friends i think i'm gonna throw up my wife's gonna throw up <laughs>